hello everyone so today we are going to create this uh, particle effect uh, for the area of impact attack we were working on so here is the demonstration so we already worked on the logic for this damage in nearby enemies in this uh, radial attack and today we are just going to create a suitable particle effect and uh, and a sum and integrate it with the actual attack blueprint that I have implemented. So I still don't have a suitable animation for the character. We will work on that later. Uh, for now, this is let's see how to make the effect. Right. So before we get started, let me remind you that you can download the project files of this project and all other thousands of projects i have done from the patron page uh, once you become a member you can download any project without a limit so also this is a part of this section rpg with game playability system series uh, feel free to check it out all other episodes as well i'll leave the link to the full playlist in the description and let's see how to create this effect today Alright, so yesterday we worked on this effect when it's a radial attack. So now the next thing I want to do is making a suitable uh, particle effect for this. Okay, first for that let me just open the attack special attacks. So this is the blueprint that I use for the attack here but i think it's too slow so first i reduce it to 0.6 because otherwise i get the feeling that it will not match explosion okay and just this curve like this okay that seems good so the curve is coming from here by the way all right now let's get started with the effect so we already have this vfx folder and under that we have particles so let me just okay so here i'll create a new niagara system uh, i'll use this fountain no i'll use this directional burst and s oh and s a o e base area of impact base okay now this is what we have so uh, well maybe we should have used the fountain but yeah anyway it's fine i'll disable this the spawn burst instantaneous and at the spawn rate and set it to a thousand so this is what we get right now and velocity i add it upward velocity like this and also I need to spawn this in a ring like shape. So, here, shape location, I choose the torus. Okay, now we can define this in like a donut like shape. So, if I make it 300, now you see. the area that we get so it's like a like that okay and i'll add a drag maybe something six and ten so you can clearly see and i'll disable dra gravity i don't think i need gravity okay now uh, 
you make this a little bigger and also increase the red so it's clear okay now i need in order to look make it look like a base i need to uh, start from a smaller ring and enlarge it so to do that here we have this large radius i'll uh, let's add a curve here or from curve now i'll use the shape and here uh, as i said the curve should be enlarged with time but this is uh, bound to normalized edge so this is not related to the system because it's only this part so i need it to bind with the emitter's edge so okay let's scale it yeah see now we get the effect okay okay now we basically have the shape so the next thing is i want to make it look like some kind of a dust or smoke effect so here we have this uh, material a translucent material which basically use this uh, smoke sub uv texture this one so i'll use this material okay. You want to take a look here it is um you are not really using the part so let me know it it's just this okay now using this material but this is a sub uv based material so here in this texture you can see one two three four five six seven eight it's an 8 by 8 array so 8 8 all right now i'll also add uh, some pov animation here linear okay value submit select sprite render it actually it's not it's very subtle I mean even if i don't use this it wouldn't really look any different okay now let's see let's add the scale right let's add a scale sprite size node and here Use this type of a curve, but it should not be zero. So I'll make it start from one. So one, eight, one point six, and two. It's a curve the same shape basically but it starts from one and now i'll increase the scale size make it uniform okay and the five no four okay and also i need this uh particles in the middle to move away from the center so I'll add another at velocity node here from point then okay I add thousand let me temporarily disable this for now okay now we are getting a shape but still we need to optimize this the i'll that's already velocity aligned let's 
here let's reduce this point three and here handle radius one also let's add a point force to make sure they are always moving they don't just stop and then let's also add a curl noise maybe bio 200 so that you can get some dynamic nature okay Still you see they stops that's why they are rotating so oh, let's increase yeah oh, that's better but still i want to uh, make this uh, particles in the center vanish quicker than the ones in the edge so what if i find this with the edge reply here link to emitter edge yep and yeah random edge plot something in between four eight yeah that's better good and in a similar way maybe let's make this five and let's implement a way to make the particles that is spawned later have a low a larger so here we can add a multiply and then we here to another addition this link to emitter edge the reason i add addition here because we can make sure it is something always better uh, larger than one otherwise it will become small the uh, zero it is okay oh. okay interesting uh what else we can but let me remove this and instead of that scale by speed right here let's give some elongated shape by making the x more relative to y that's, i think that looks good looks more like a effect now okay i increase the spawn rate a bit hmm nice well you can now further fine tune according to your taste but maybe this is Yeah. All right. Now let's put this into our effect and see how it looks. Uh, particle system component, and I have already selected NO NSA base, so it's already applied here. Okay. Now let's see. Yeah. So it does match with our effect. All right, now let's simply make this ring invisible. We don't need visible end. All right, let's see. Great. Oh, I think the particles disappear suddenly. That's not good. 
that should be that is because of this lifespan so i'll keep it like five seconds so there should be enough time for particles to fade out yeah okay cool. uh now let me add a simple sound effect okay this is the sound effect so let's create a cue from this and i think we might need to reduce the volume right And then I'll add this also to here. All right. That's all I want to do for today. Next time, maybe let's add a, a suitable animation for this uh, area of impact attack. And thanks for watching. As always, updated project files will be available for download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.